If Dancing in the Rain is a Bollywood favourite, then so is The Feast. This week, Yudhika presents a menu that is inspired by Indian cinema. So it's lights, camera, action for Mela's Bollywood bash. Bollywood is bold, bright and colourful, which makes it the perfect theme for a dinner party and it's not as intimidating as it seems. The dishes can be made and prepped in advance, which will leave your guests believing you are a true Bollywood superstar. On my menu today, delicious lamb koftas, a Bombay-inspired chicken biryani and a luscious pistachio kulfi. First, I'm starting out with the chicken biryani and to marinate the chicken, we've got some ginger and garlic paste. lemon juice, double thick Greek yogurt, and I'm using a combination of Greek yogurt and fresh cream for this. Crispy fried brown onions. And now I'm going to pound together some whole spices. I've got a cinnamon stick, cardamom pods, cloves, and black pepper. I've already roasted this. Just pound it lightly to crush. This is going to release those flavours. These have been roasted in a dry pan just to release some of the aromas. And that goes into the marinade. Now for the spices. I like a spicy biryani, so I'm using three tablespoons of red chilli powder. A teaspoon of cumin. Two teaspoons of coriander one teaspoon of garam masala and a pinch of turmeric. Let's mix these ingredients together. The pieces are coated evenly now and you should leave this to marinate for at least two to three hours, overnight preferably. And just one of my little tricks, make a well in the center of the marinade and I've got some coal here that's pretty hot. Pop the bowl into the marinade and then pour over some melted butter or ghee. That's working beautifully and I can feel the heat coming through already on the pot lid. You can see there's a cloud of smoke here, but I promise it adds a delicious flavor. Let's get on with the chicken biryani, and for that I'm heating up a pan. And now pour in some sunflower oil. Just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pot. And now a bay leaf and cinnamon sticks going in. Fry those until they're fragrant. And now sliced onion going into the pan. Now add salt. I'm using three teaspoons of coarse salt for this. And now green chilies. Just slice these in half. And fry the onions until they pale golden. The onions are ready. Now add the marinated chicken. Just gonna have a look here. Still a bit of smoke coming through. Just going to remove the charcoal first. Place the pieces of chicken into the fried onion. Now scrape the marinade into the pot. And mix that through. Keep scraping the pan and moving the chicken around until the pieces are sealed. The spices are starting to stick to the bottom of the pan and now add the tomatoes. The tomato adds some moisture to the marinade and loosens the spices that are stuck to the pan. Ready for the next step. Some lentils. I love using my hands and my fingers when I cook. Just half the lentils. And now the potatoes. Place those over the lentils and chicken. And for the rice, 
I've steamed the rice through with lots of boiling water and I've flavored the rice with a cinnamon stick and a bay leaf as well. The rice should be half cooked and still quite firm. And it's important to use rice that's cooled down so it doesn't become quite sticky. The remaining lentils going on top of the rice. And now some butter. About 100 grams of butter going on top. The butter melts into the rice and this also prevents the rice from becoming sticky. I've toasted some saffron strands, crumbled them lightly with my fingertips and infused that in hot water. Pour the saffron over the rice and a touch of yellow food colouring going over the rice and some water going in. Now I cover the pot with a tight-fitting lid that will trap in all the flavours and aromas of this delicious biryani. Lower the heat and steam the biryani through for about 45 minutes or until all the moisture evaporates. I'm going to start with the kulfi next and I'm going to steam this biryani through just before serving. And now for that decadent kulfi, the first ingredient going into the pan, some fresh cream. I'm making a pistachio and cardamom flavoured kulfi today. And in India, kulfi is made with buffalo milk. Here I've used evaporated milk, full cream milk, condensed milk and fresh cream to recreate that texture. Full cream milk. Evaporated milk. And now condensed milk going in. And full cream milk powder. And stir these ingredients through. I'm going to flavor the mixture with a teaspoon of cardamom. And this is freshly ground cardamom. It has the best flavor. Turn up the heat and bring the mixture up to the boil. As the milk boils, the lactose caramelizes and it gives the kulfi a lovely caramel flavor. And now, just a little sugar going in, two tablespoons. I'm doing pistachio kulfi and I'm going to tint the mixture pale green in color. I always say this is a bit like a magic trick, especially when I'm cooking with my kids. It wouldn't after all be Bollywood without a bit of colour. And that's our coffee mixture done. It should leave a line on the back of a spoon. This is quite hot, so just be careful you don't get burnt. And that's what you're looking for. Now pour the mixture into a jug. Oops. And then pour it into glasses. pistachios going on top. I've also roasted these for the maximum flavour. Now I cover this with cling film and leave this in the freezer for a few hours or overnight until they're set. And while this is in the freezer, I'm going to start with the koftas. For the lamb koftas, first season the lamb mince with salt. And to the lamb mince, ginger and garlic. An egg yolk. Chopped green chilli, I've got about three chilies here. One small finely chopped red onion. This adds flavour and also adds moisture to the koftas. Chopped coriander. And for the spices, two teaspoons of red chilli powder, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of coriander, about half a teaspoon of garam masala, and now mix those ingredients together. I'm using roasted spices in this dish. Remove your jewellery, 
and just use your fingers instead and gently work those ingredients until they're well combined. That's ready. The ingredients are evenly distributed and now just work them into little balls. And there we have it. Sunflower oil going into the base of the skillet. Place the kaftas into the hot oil. The oil shouldn't be too hot or they will burn on the outside and stay quite raw inside. Turn them over and be quite gentle. They are quite soft still. The kaftas can be made in advance and fried just before serving or they can be half fried and then reheated just before serving. Those are now done. Let's get ready to serve our feast. Time to check on the chicken biryani. It's been steaming for about 45 minutes. Let's have a look. Looks perfect. You can use some aromatic garam masala over. And now scoop up the rice. You can see the rice is still quite light and fluffy. It's not sticky at all. Be quite gentle. You don't want to break up the potatoes in the biryani as well. I'm just loosening the chicken from the base of the pan. And now to garnish some brown onion going on top. Now garnish with some fresh coriander. And this smells glorious. This is my Bollywood feast. For starters, we've got delicious lamb koftas served with homemade mango chutney. For the main course, smoky Bombay-inspired chicken biryani. And for dessert, luscious creamy pistachio coffee. I hope you enjoy it.